We start with a shocking allegation against two Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies under investigation tonight for allegedly taking advantage of an elderly woman. Advised via a citizen's complaint of uh, some alleged misconduct. For days, investigators say the 74-year-old North Highlands woman was missing when in reality she was put on a plane and sent to the Philippines against her will. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Sharon Roger. New tonight, CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw has details on this developing and disturbing story, Jen. Tony and Sharon, detectives are looking into whoever is responsible for putting this woman on the plane in the first place. It's a story neighbors say started back in January and believe deputies had something to do with it. She's really friendly. Like she's just like the neighborhood grandma. Everybody looks at for her to like see them. Like a good morning. A, How are you doing? Neighbors on Thomas Road in North Highlands look out for Rosalia Chewy ever since her husband passed in 2016. They say she suffers from dementia. She would like reintroduce herself herself to us. We called her Miss Lynn. So she'd be like, "Hi, I'm Miss Lynn." And I'm like, "Yeah, Miss Lynn, I know who you are." When she went missing, they knew something was wrong. I didn't see her for like a couple days, and then she came back with the deputy. According to the Sacramento Sheriff's Department, a citizen filed a complaint suspecting that two sheriff's deputies had taken advantage of the elderly female. As the department investigated further, they discovered the woman had been placed on an airplane and sent to the Philippines to stay with family. Then, several search warrants were executed and many unusual activities by both deputies, both on and off duty, were discovered. Fast forward weeks later, Fitzpatrick says investigators were on her doorstep asking her to ID the deputies. The department wouldn't confirm the identities of the employees now under investigation for alleged misconduct, but say the two are on administrative leave. It's definitely troubling to investigate our own employees, um, but it's something that we, we will do. Fitzpatrick says it's strange to look across the street and not see Rosalie and can't imagine why anyone would take advantage of her dear neighbor. One employee has been with the Sheriff's Department for 14 years, the other for six. Both cases are under review by the District Attorney's Office. Certainly.